This video is going to show you how to grade a Canvas assignment. So you can get to the Canvas assignment a couple of different ways. I'm in the Grades tab, but of course you could have gone to the Assignments tab to find it. Once I'm here, I'm just going to click on this blue down arrow and I'm going to choose Speed Grader. If I'm in the assignment itself on the right hand column, there will be an option to click Speed Grader. Once I'm here, I'm going to see the student's assignment. Now in this case, it's a Google document, but it could be a Google Docs, slide sheets, uh, Google Drawing, it could be a, a URL link, it could be an uploaded video or audio, uh, PowerPoint, Word, you name it, sky's the limit of what could be here. If it is a document of some kind, you're going to get some annotation tools. You can also zoom in and out, see how many pages it is, and download it if you'd prefer to download it. I love these annotation tools. It's super simple to use. I can click the highlight button, choose what color I would like, come here and highlight whatever I want to point out. Notice I get a trash button in case I made a mistake, but I also get a comment button. If I click on it, I can leave a comment for the student. This is super helpful in giving feedback. I can use the marker tool and again pick my color and maybe I just want to highlight um, or circle something. Again I get the trash or I can leave a comment or I can do nothing. I can just click, you know, click off and, and do nothing. But I could leave a comment if I wanted to. The nice thing about comments, notice how it now says reply. The student's able to reply back to you or you could hit reply and, and leave another comment um, that goes along with this comment. All right, so you'll definitely want to play around with these annotation tools because they are very handy for giving quick, quick feedback. The other thing you can do over here then is assign how many points the student earned. In addition, you can leave an overall comment here or any other type of comment that you want as well. Simply hit submit and your comment will post. You could also leave, or I'm um, sorry, an audio comment, a media comment. You could give an attachment and you can also do speech recognition. So let's try that. You did a fantastic job on this assignment, period. And now I'm talking my feedback. So it's very cool. And again, you just have to hit submit. If you change your mind, hit the X button and your comment will go away. Notice up here, Riley now has a check mark. That means this assignment has been um, graded. And to move on to the next student, you just hit the arrow. I don't have another student in this um, fake class, but you would just hit the arrow to go on to the next one. Another option you would have is the drop down arrow would list all of the students in this course. If you wanted to just grade by class, this drop down arrow at the very top would give you the option to go to a specific section and then all of the students in that section would be available. You can also grade all of your sections at one time. It just puts all of the students in alphabetical order. You can see what student you are grading compared to how many have been submitted. You can see how many have been graded here. You can see the class average. Okay, or the course average if you're grading all of them at the same time.